This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons over on Patreon. I would like to give a huge shout out to Anina, Clay, Mariah, Maddie, Edelis, Dre, Thomas, Tara, Zoe, Zuzia, Ainsley, Sabine, Jimma, Bailey, Azzy, Jacqueline, Monica, Jordan, Green, Lizzie, Willow, Danny, Blessing, Avery, Maddie, Alexia, B, Max, T, Taylor, M, Lovely, Antonina, Anna, Valen, Ali, Obsessed, Rihanna, Nicole, Carnations, Kristen, Tequila, Autumn, Emily, Sarah, Vanessa, Nini, Nura, Matcha, Ava, Yasmin, Leah, Kayla, Ali, Ginny, Vika, Inez, June, Elizabeth, Penguin, Sammy, Roland, Rose, Lydia, Mila, Adrian, Lexi, Baina, Chi, Madison, Beck, Jemaya, Mads, Rachel, Daisy, Honeybee, Jade, Hooves, Rose, Alice, Cadence, Sponge, AJ, Kate, Jay, Praxid, Nicole, Terry, Hallow, Rebecca, Allison, Jacqueline, Jacaria, Mina, Lilith, Ange, Jasmine, Lizard, Haley, Kiki, Illyria, Lady Demista, Zebra, Lala, Ari, Amy, Busy, Molly, Xylosaurus Rex, and Lunaris Galaxia. If you would like to support the channel and get some pretty cool perks, such as exclusive weekly audios and novel readings, the link is in the description. Cause you're sweet like a flower in blue You rose Oh! <laughs> oh my god, hi! Nah, uh, they are currently getting changed, so I am just out here relaxing by myself. Just, you know. I didn't know you were coming. Yeah, no, I had no idea. They didn't tell me, so that's that's odd. Not for you, that's just odd for them, I think. It is. I don't know why I'm saying I think. I just, yeah. You okay? I don't know, you look a bit, a little bit flushed. Do you need water? Because I've got some in the cooler. <laughs> no, I do not. They do not allow any uh, alcohol in the recreation null places. I know that makes it sound like maybe I'm on alcohol, but no. Did I just say <laughs> Did I just say on alcohol? Like I'm on, like on drugs, on alcohol? No, I, I have I haven't drank at all. Plus, gotta be taking care of the kiddos, so that is a no go. No, I'm <laughs> no, I am not talking about Jessica, who is nineteen, and your age. That is not the kid. Lacey's also here. Yeah, I think she's finally starting to feel a little bit too old for the let's just like rummage around the the boat and let's you know see if it's this cool exploration thing she's trying to be a little bit more practical with her time and go down to the pool and enjoy that. <laughs> Which, you know, hats off to her. That took me a while before I even felt that way. Listen, are you sure you're all right? I got some Gatorade in here if you need some electrolytes or anything like that. You just look a little off. Yeah, you again. Like usually, uh, two things. One, that flushness is is really, really, really there. And uh, I saw you this morning when we all had breakfast, and you uh, are not that tan yet. <laughs> so, uh, and two, I don't know. You're usually more conversational than this. Well, you can take it that way. And although I didn't mean it that way. You're not wrong. You are kind of a chatterbox. That's not a bad thing. It's, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I put on some good sunscreen, but don't don't hit me too hard. Thank you very much. Because who knows? Maybe I'm trying to get a tan. And, and who knows now, now that you hit me, maybe that took off some of the sunscreen. I'm just going to have a giant red patch of sunburn on my arm. And how would you feel about that? You'd feel pretty terrible, wouldn't you? But no, I, I love the fact that you are so conversational. One, uh, it's 
just to, uh, nice to have someone else that talks as much as me around. <laughs> yeah. Come on. We are always talking. And you also bring Jess out of her shell, which is something she definitely needs. Oh my God. No. See, I don't know what you're doing now because you're kind of acting a little bit defensive and twisting my words and you don't usually do that. So, uh, but no, I, I, I love Jess absolutely the way she is. She is my favorite person in the world. Don't tell her I said that, but that girl means everything to me. And uh, I'm just glad that she has someone like you to bring out the more social butterfly side of her because she just gets embarrassed when I do it. But when her cool friend does it, yeah, yeah, you know, it's really a 50-50. Half of the time, I do think you're a pretty cool chick. And half of the time, you cannot hide the fact that you are an absolute dork. No, yeah, see, see, and then, and now the face is getting even more red. I didn't realize it could get that red. You may have every single other person fooled, but not me. You see, I have the best hearing in the family, uh, probably the best hearing in the county, if we're being honest with each other, to the so much to the point that sometimes I get overstimulated and it's weird, but uh, I, I know your secret. Oh, you didn't know you had a secret. I know your secret that, like, after every third joke that's made at the dinner table when they're doing the barbecue and stuff, you will say an even funnier nerdy in-joke that has to do with some science fiction pop culture thing. You literally, literally, last night when we had hot dogs... You dropped three Lord of the Rings jokes in like a 10 minute span. Don't worry, no one else can hear them, but I can. So I know your secret and don't worry, I am a steel trap. It is completely safe with me as long as you allow me to call you dork. Well, I only think it's fair that the person who's dorky enough to understand the jokes that you're saying is allowed to call you dork as well. Is that not fair? I think it's perfectly fair. <laughs> <sighs> At least it's really nice out today. Uh, no, don't get me wrong. I, yesterday was great. I like the cool breeze. The breeze is dope. But... There, there's something about just laying out, just laying out, completely sunny, still air, it gets me pretty content. Okay, we got, we got to talk about this, right? I have, I, I've been run, I've been conducting an experiment. Yeah, conduct, conducting an experiment. Uh, and the experiment that I've been conducting is I have been poking and prodding at you consistently, more than our usual banter. And you are responding about half as intensely as you usually do to twice the banter. That's like a 175% reduction, or is it just 75%? Anyways. You get what I'm saying. So what's going on? I know I I know that I'm the goofy best friend, older brother guy, but you can talk to me about whatever. Come on, I ba I've basically known you since we were kids and I've seen you grow up into a wonderful human being and you can tell me whatever you want and i will be a stone pillar no jokes no nothing i don't know i don't know what to, how to how to like promise you more than i i am right now but i i pinky promise pinky sw double dog swear whatever you need me to do Okay. 
fine. If you don't want to talk about it, I'm not here to force you into talking about it either. We're just going to sit here and we're just going to enjoy the pool. And hopefully Jess and Lacey are not in there talking to boys. Yeah, I know that there's nobody here right now, but that's because it's super, super, super early in the season and people don't really come around right now uh, to the club. But, you know, who knows? There could be some rapscallions in there trying to f- flirt with my... I don't want to think about that. Okay. I mean, okay, as in if you think that I was going to just drop the conversation and not press you on it, you are loca, sister. <laughs> no, no. Uh, no, not in a bad way. I can, I'm taking the the liberty to assume that this is something that you really want to get off your chest because uh, I've looked you in the eyes multiple times during this conversation and there's some sort of like confusion or feeling burgeoning behind the eyes uh, that and it feels like, I don't know, it feels like we, we, we got to have this talk and you've been, you have been looking at me this entire time. I had my left eye closed and my right eye open. Don't ask me how I could see you, but I could. <laughs> I'm not a trickster, but when you grow up with a younger sister, you learn all of the plays in the playbook. So what's up? Um, I do. Well, past couple of years, I've really gotten, this is going to sound so dorky and I'm not into it like as an actual sport, but as a form of, uh, exercise, it does well for me. Uh, disc golf, like Frisbee. Yeah. Yeah. And then like the, the football version, I don't even know what it's called. Yeah, one day I was just walking in the park and this group of guys were doing it and I was like, huh. That sounds that 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 seems like fun. And so uh I started uh I, I went up to them and I said, Hey, can I can I join? And they said, uh like twenty bucks and we'll just let you join the league and so yeah. Yeah, it's it's like the thing where you have the frisbee and it's like football and you throw it and you catch it and you stay in the place and then you the, you're running around and stuff it's 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 fun the, the the guys that do it are kind of dorky but it really uh it really helps out my cardio and then i do just weights in the gym and i just skip the cardio wait why are you asking me this i'm sorry it just I, it, it's an interesting thing and people really don't ask me about my hobbies very much but but I'm just starting to re- like question why you asked why do why did you ask me that? I look different, dude. I've I've literally like I went I went through puberty and then I went I hit my growth spurt at 17 and I've literally looked the same for the past four years. So I don't. I'm dumb. Yeah, I'm dumb. You, uh, I mean, it's a pool. And so, and usually when I'm around Jess and Lacey, I don't unbutton. If, if it's making you uncomfortable, I can... Oh. Thank you. That that's flattering. 
I don't know. I guess I don't feel the need to. Well, from my experience, most guys who achieve like a six pack or whatever and muscles and stuff, there's, there's a reason behind it. And the reason is the artificial, not artificiality, the, the superficiality of it. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It is inherently good to be in good shape, but I, it just happened to me because I, I, I like working out. Like, I like, I enjoy it. Not to the, not to the point, like the, the, the dudes on YouTube who are, you know, doing the poses with the hand behind the back and stuff, but I like exercising and I'm telling you disc, whatever football, I, I can't believe I still don't know the name of the sport I've been playing for two years is really fun. So I just, I don't know. It's not, it's not something that I gained with the intention of showing it off all the time. And I don't know. I, I guess another thing is I don't want to make like Jess and Lacey uncomfortable. I'm aware that the, the, that having that, <laughs> and please don't, don't think I'm being pretentious when I say this, but I'm aware that having the body that I do and going like we're, we're literally like at a yacht club, low club, you know? So, uh, I'm aware that if I was to be shirtless, it would attract or at least draw more female attention. And that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to have a good time with my family and I'm here to have a great time with my sisters and I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable, you know? Oh. You, you actually have no idea how much that means to me. No, no, I'm serious. It's, it's a difficult thing to do. Yeah, no, I don't know. No, that's not what I meant. Um, it's an important thing to me that, the, 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 in doing that and hearing someone else recognize that that's like being a good brother. That's really kind of all I want to do. I want to be a good brother. I want to be a good son. I want to be good to my family and I want to show them how much I care about them. That's like my number one priority. Yes, that, in, that includes <laughs> includes sisters, best friends as well. You want to move up the priority list. I don't know what you mean by that. Okay. Let me rephrase that. Maybe I do know what you mean by that, but uh, I've, subje I've subjected myself to enough embarrassment today that maybe I want you to sweat through it a little bit. Listen, I've told you how much I think you're awesome and I love who you are and I love your dorkiness and I think you are fantastic. Uh, and I'm not someone to let... I am someone to who uh, tries to cultivate as much happiness for others as I possibly can, but I'm not someone who will allow my happiness to be deterred by the preferences of other people. I don't know if that makes sense. What I'm trying to say is I wouldn't, 
I, I would like to explore what we have more. I would very much like that. And ultimately, at the end of the day, it's my call whether that's the case or not. And your call, of course. But you've already literally kind of said that you were interested in doing that. But before we do do that, I would like to check in with Jess. Exactly. It is only, it is really only fair to her because she deserves to know the intentions of what's going on between the two of us. And yeah. Well, that will, that will make it a lot easier. Dang. And she never even wingmanned for me once? That's tough. Well, no, I didn't tell her anything about my feelings towards you, but... I don't know. You would think that a brother or sister bond, you know, we'd be on the same wavelength, but... <laughs> That will, that will make it easier, and I'll be honest with you, that does relieve a little tension in my chest about having that conversation. But we should still have that conversation. Because it's only fair for all of us, I think. <laughs> that is, uh... Oh, man. I don't know. I've... I know I come off as like confident and kind of older brotherish, just inherently by the relationship I have with my sister and then kind of by proxy you. Uh, but I've had, I've had relationships in the past, but I've never had anyone really physical contact. Wasn't a big thing. So no one's ever done that before. But if, if you want to, then I am giving you consent. You can. Yeah. Well, honestly, I've never felt a washboard before myself, but I will take the compliment. Now, in exchange for that, uh, would you mind if I asked, and I have been looking around a couple of minutes before this because I knew I was going to ask this regardless of whether you wanted to feel my abs or not. Um, can I? There's no one here. No one's looking at us. Uh, can I can I kiss you? Just one kiss. I don't know. It feels it feels right to me. Okay. I like you too. A lot. So let's let's talk about the fact that uh, it was four. I know I, I I didn't want to embarrass you because three you know three strikes you're out that's kind of like a limit but it was actually four, Lord of the Rings, references. Yeah, my dad my dad was calling someone a wise man, and uh, you muttered under your breath, Samwise Gamgee. Yeah, it was, it was hilarious. It was the funniest thing ever. I, I, I literally almost spat up the broth that was in my mouth. It was so funny. I, I, like, inherently, it's not a joke. It's not really saying anything. But just to literally hear you just under your breath, Samwise Gamgee, 